my question for you two. Okay. Mr. Weed. All right. Um, what? <laughs> What exactly will you do differently with Dollhouse so that you don't have a firefly taste in your mouth um, after, when the, when the, you know, if anything were to happen? What, what will you do differently this time? Consider? I would stay away from Adam Baldwin. The biggest problem with Firefly was Adam Baldwin. <laughs> Luckily, he, he will never knew his lines. <laughs> uh, this is so awkward. <laughs> um, what I would do differently, you know, first of all, I'm hitting different people. But you never know if the show's going to go. Uh, I'm just making sure every step of the way that the network knows what they're getting, wants what they're getting, and that we're communicating all the time. Um, I'm shooting a new pilot because that was my idea to take the pilot and make it for the second episode. I knew that would jazz them up about how we were introducing them into the show. So I'm just, you know, I'm doing it a little, I'm being a little more clear. I love Firefly with all my heart. I love Dollhouse very much, but I'm, I'm behaving like a grown up all the way along to make sure that. If somebody else does it, I know how to control it. Okay. And so far, nobody's, nobody's been bad. Cool. Except you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, so on Battlestar Galactica, you're involved in like a critical and cultural hit. Uh, did you see signs of that coming, and do you see signs of that in Dollhouse as you're working on it now? I definitely saw signs of it coming in Battlestar. I mean, you know, by the first season, halfway through, you could see the potential for the series. I mean, you look at like what Starbuck has to do in the, or Apollo has to deal with in the first couple episodes you know like just dealing with controversial issues and, and like obvious parallels to what was going on at the time uh, in, in culture uh, I mean the parallels were obvious but yeah you, you, you could see the potential for what was going to happen with Battlestar from the beginning do I see it with this? well I've only shot the pilot right? Joss is a pretty incredible guy and I think one theme that he's exploring right now too is, is just technology and, and how so rapidly we can, we're kind of a station of culture in so many ways you can think about it. We're never impressed by you know, technology. New thing comes out. Like if, I, if, if I get told there's a transporter coming out in the next couple of weeks, I'm probably going to be blown away for about a month and then we're going to be like, what's next? You know what I mean? I'm fascinated by that. I have an imagination for it. I think Jaws does too. Most sci-fi people do. We have, we have a broader imagination. We're maybe more accepting of some things that are a little far off. So I'm excited about what's going to happen with the show and the potential for the storyline with the premise is, is huge. Okay. 